Awesome. Is Randall still with us? No, he's he's uh, doing Quinn's job and back. Fresh Meat's been running the show. It's pretty good, isn't he? He's, he's oh my up. gosh. Other than you still got Jeff Kaida up there on the corner, but other than that, he's doing good. Yeah, but that's just so we can see if anybody sneaks into the studio on oh, you. Oh, that, that's the Trixie cam. It's a security thing. Yeah, yeah. it's a trick Trixie. <laughs> can we see Trixie on the cam? No, no, she, not now. No. Oh, so I had, I needed Andrew. Well, I don't need Andrew, but I had a tip about getting the stank out of his hockey equipment. Oh, you did? Okay. Yes. I, you know, I, I don't know if this is going to work because half of the people on the internet says it works really well. The other half said no. Okay. But you put it in the freezer. Have either of you heard this yes. before? Yes, I have. Yeah, but I don't know. When it thaws, I can't imagine it. I think it would come right back. It does. Because <laughs> you can't kill bacteria with freezer. They go well, dormant. According to some of the people, you can kill it. It doesn't go dormant. So talk okay. to me, Rich. You say you can't kill it? I don't think you could kill it. I mean, just because it was on the internet, but that, I mean, you go to Antarctica and all that, there's still bacteria in the ice. That's hockey stench. You're you're not killing yeah, it. Yeah, hockey stench is a different animal altogether, <laughs> no doubt. Well, that's what they said. So half of the people said, no, it's going to come back. I mean, these are people who actually tested it and did it. Some yeah. people said it came back. Some people said you could actually do it. Take your hockey equipment, um, put it in a humongous bag. Yeah. You know, like those gloves or whatever that he can't wash. Yeah. Put those in a big bag, put them in the freezer for a while. Oh, but you'd Rich need... is talking, but I can't hear him. I see you'd... his lips moving. You'd need... I'm not, I'm not. You'd need a Jeffrey Dahmer for a uh, freezer to get something done like that. Why do you say things like that? I mean, yeah, all that hockey equipment. Can somebody delete that, what he just said? <laughs> so now the funny thing is, I'm like, because here, just to, so I don't just spread bad information. So I'm at Googling at what temperature does bacteria die, and it okay. says 102 degrees. It can't live above 120. Also, oh, nuke it. Like, like at uh, 102, most the... bacteria can no longer reproduce, which is protective nature of human fevers. Okay. Didn't know that. Makes perfect sense, right? That's why you get a fever, so that they can't reproduce. Okay. I did not know that but do not live above 120 degrees. So you're probably better off boiling them or just throwing boiling them. your hockey but uniform. The problem would be things that can't be wet. I assume that's not, that's why he's not washing these items because they can't be wet. Okay. Like okay. If it's well, leather. Let's go the other direction though. What cold temperature does bacteria die? Yeah, there you go. Absolute minus 80. Oh, minus 80. Wow. Nope. So there you go, Robbie. The easiest way is at minus 80 degrees. So I'm pretty sure your freezer's not quite there. Hmm. So you got okay, so to nuke it like your like PJ does or Trixie does with the uh, sponges. The sponge. Yeah. The sponge. She's always nuking sponges. So you know what? I tried. Now. Um, so a couple other tips that I had for this week. Uh-huh. Um, don't let fate determine what you're keeping or not keeping. So I'm working on a woman with a garage today. Okay. And being outside in Florida, she has overflow. The garage is so filled with stuff that the overflow goes onto the patio. Okay. So what happens then is when it rains, everything gets soaked, and then we have to throw most of it away. Okay. Mm. So I personally like that. Because <laughs> that's... Come on, rain, right? And then get a dumpster. <laughs> right. Exactly. Because then, you know, there's no way she can say, oh, I need to save this. You know, this needs this. I'm like, no, it's ruined. Uh -huh. So when you're saving things, put them in plastic bins, cardboard bins in Florida with bugs. And Rich, tell me the difference between a cockroach and a palmetto bug, because personally, they look the exact same. <laughs> they do. It's just cockroach has a negative connotation where palmetto bug just sounds cute. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> but they're like horses but, down there, aren't they? Yes, they're uh, somewhat larger. <laughs> so when you're going through boxes Create that have been stored problem. properly in a nice plastic container, you're getting all the bugs, you're getting the mildew, everything is smelly, sweaty. So if you're going to save it, and if you really don't want to take a chance, put it in the nice plastic bins, uh -huh. clean them out. Um, First, another thing is, what <laughs> clean them out first yes clean them first okay. i don't understand why people use dirty bins the palmetto bug wanna... is a american cockroach <laughs> uh, 
It's the closest sorry, living relative to lobster, though, so that's all good. So, oh, so they're tasty. Oh, yes, uh, I'm not going to taste them. curious about that, actually. <laughs> um, another thing is when you're donating items, just because you don't want it anymore, think about it. Somebody who hoards a lot of items, the things that they don't want yeah. doesn't necessarily mean that a thrift store or a charity <laughs> is going to want those items either. So I'm going to say, you know what? Get rid of some of the things. Don't donate things to thrift stores. Your garbage is garbage. I hate going and volunteering at a thrift store and opening a bag, and they've just, like, cleaned out the toy bin. Uh-huh. And they've put it all into a bag. And what do you find in there? You find broken crayons. You find dog hair. You find paper clips. This is you know what? It's house. garbage. Throw it away. We'll, we'll talk later when we talk about the uh, reasons to garden naked. <laughs> I set out to help my community. I would end up to That's our Robbie right there.